rubbish fan is broken down again. It's just a faff. I pulled these out of a skip. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Artisan Electrics where I'm with my man Ruben. I don't know if you remember this consumer unit, we did an EICR here uh, about a week ago and uh, we're gonna be swapping this over. So I'm gonna talk him through the process of changing up a consumer unit because people seem to quite enjoy the EICR video where I went in depth. So we're gonna go in depth on this. So buckle your seat belts and let's get going. Okay, so step one, finish your coffee. Step two, pass the coffee back to the apprentice. Step three, get permission to turn the power off. Already asked that, he's cool with it. We're gonna start working backwards towards the main breakers, so we're not switching off a big load. Switch them on, bom, 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 bom. You've already done an inspection here. So now we're going to isolate the tails coming into the consumer unit. So I'm going to grab my tester out the back, my little pouch. Here. A bit of bang, bomb, bomb. Pass that over to you, dude. To be honest, it's all being ripped out in about 30 seconds. Pass that over to you. So we want to confirm that these things work. They do indeed. Right on earth. Neutral earth. Right, the main switch is functioning correctly. Now we're going to, just like magic, have um, the tails become dead. The main fuse might fall out, we'll see. Ah, what do you know, the tamper seals had already fallen off. So, remove the main fuse. Ah, the fuse fell out. Okay, looks like we're safe now. So we're gonna finish off safe isolation inside there. Sometimes the fuse does tend to fall out, criticize me all you like until more isolators are fitted. This is something that Sparkies have to do to make themselves safe. So either the DNO need to provide training and to allow for registered electricians to remove the main fuses, which I have not done, or they need to really drive an effort to put in isolators for us to be able to isolate safely. But in the meantime, that's going in my back pocket. Right, on to the next step. Right, so let's make a start. So I'm gonna loosen off all of these and spices. In fact, what am I playing at? Now my impact driver plays Rubes. We are safely isolated. We're all good. I'm just trying to save myself a tiny bit of RSI. If we hire or someone want to send me the speedy screwdriver or someone wants to develop a better one, then I'm more than happy to use that one. Ah, that's your wages for the week in copper. Current prices, that's probably a fair little bit as well. Some that's more. a bonus. That's a bonus, that's because you did really well. There's your tip. Have I got a Sharpie in the front of my bag there? I'm just identifying what's what. In fact, you know what? Let's be extra. What the heck? We've got time. I pulled these out of a skip because Jordan didn't like me. Threw him in a skip at a rewire. Okay, Ruben, write notes on the cardboard. One. One. Cooker. Shards the lid, I want this one out. Sockets. I think I'm going to try and make two kitchen sockets. I like how the red matches the red. That is nice. Can I see the lid for a sec? Four, immersion heater. Five is going to be downstairs lights. I'm going to go test that burglar alarm again. Six is going to be smoke detectors. And then seven is burglar alarm. There you go, be recycled. And eight is upstairs lights. So we're all identified up. I think that should be enough tagging for now. Mm, might swap the tails, see where they fall on the new, the new kit.
not loads of length, but we can we can make it work, I reckon. Probably I'll fix that for him. Okay, if we get the consume unit up here. I'm tempted to batten it off. So I'm gonna take all the innards, innards out so I don't damage it. Do you know what, something you really got to bear in mind at the minute working from home. As I know, it's the old like adage, especially when you're in college. Permission first. Permission is the first step of safe isolation. At the minute, with people working from home, it is really important. I've very nearly turned the power off for people before without thinking, turned the run circuits off or tripped them. And people are working from home and have got like UPS systems and whatever that don't, don't appreciate being switched off in a hurry. People are usually not overly delighted. Well, actually they are delighted, delit, but they're not delighted when, um, when you turn their power off. Permission, 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 guys. There we go. I'm gonna have to trunk cut things down a touch just to make it all fit inside for the tails to, to actually enter in. It's a bit of a result, really. The way it's wired at the minute is pretty much the way that the new board is. So we've got live on the left, neutral on the right, and on our main switch, right is also that way round. So, bit of a treat. Okay, so I don't want to use three individual knockouts. I just want one big one. So I'm gonna just jigsaw these, these three holes out. This is the edge trim we're using as grommet strip because the grommet strip that comes with this consume unit is pretty cack. To be honest, the grommet strip that comes with any consume unit is pretty cack in general. I'm yet to find one that I like. Whereas this is actually made for cars, I think, um, this edge trim. It's completely original. It's completely my idea. I actually came up with it all by myself. No, I didn't. <laughs> Found it on Instagram, but I'm not giving him credit because I'm not going to, and he knows who it is. He knows, he knows who it is, and he says he doesn't watch these videos. So if he calls me out for it, then I know he's watching them. So yeah, this is completely my original idea using this door edge trim. I call this is like the magnets. This, this deserves a mention. Right. You know I like things that are unnecessary sometimes. The quality of this level is, I think, unnecessary in how beautiful it is. So like, it, it's just a torpedo level, but the weight of it is ridiculous. It's so solid and heavy, and the strength of the magnets, like, neck, pick up a crane with that thing, and then, boom, as if it wasn't cool enough. I, I really do like it, I've got to say, I do like it. So, that is, all lined up, ready to go. So you see now I've got a nice, just a nice singular opening where I can scooch them about, I can budge them about, and I can fire seal it. Only problem is the earths are really short. So I'm gonna have to try my best to dress them in nicely. Um, I don't think I'll be able to order them how I wanted to. So I, I numbered them unequally um, because I wanted to go biggest breaker to smallest breaker. That's the way I generally like to do it. It's the most common way of doing it. And that's, in theory, so you're not pulling bigger loads across the bottom of the bus bar. In practice, I've never found it to be an issue. I think what I'm going to do, just because of cable length and stuff, I'm gonna keep it the way they were numbered so that they just come straight down and in. So it'll sort of be big breaker, little breaker, big breaker, little breaker. You'll see when it's done, it'll make sense. It's a 20 way board. It's a pretty massive consumer unit. That's because the guys having loads of work done. We're gonna be, we're coming back, I think in August or September to fit battery storage, solar, car charger, all of that. So you've got to basically allow plenty of headroom because that technology has not even been around for massively long, has it, inside people's houses. And now all of a sudden there's new things coming out, you know, so you don't know what's gonna be coming out in the next five to 10 years. So we just basically, if the room is there for it, allow plenty of space for future expansion. We got here really late today. Reason being, our van has been unbelievably rubbish. Ford, you, the viewers who watch the channel regularly will know that we've been having problems with the radio and stuff, always flicking back to Radio 4 and the Apple CarPlay not working. Well, having that problem again now, but we had the problem where the battery was constantly dying. And I think I said in one of the original videos, oh, I think it might be the alternator. And they said, no, 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 I think it's just the battery. So they've been faffing on with the battery. Anyway, it turns out it broke down again the other day and it's the alternator belt that's dodgy. 
So they've replaced the alternator belt and done some other bits to repair it. And now what's happened? I get back in it this morning after being messed around over the weekend with when it's going to be fixed and the Apple CarPlay doesn't work. So lesson is just get a VW, don't get a Ford because they're rubbish. It's like a brand new van. Well, it's a 19 plate van and it's just breaking all the time. And it, the thing is, it's not the cost of it because it's a lease. So the cost of it's free but it's the wasted time. Like this morning, I've had to get an Uber to St Albans because all the other garages were busy. We couldn't fit us in quick enough to get it fixed. So I've had to get an Uber over there. So it's the cost of the Uber there and back and the, the wasted time. Like this morning, having to start my job late. Like it's lunchtime, pretty much. I've only got just got the board mounted. I've only been here for not very long. It's just a faff. I think I'm going to get this mounted, have a bite to eat and then crack on wiring it. But lunch has been eaten. I'm just whacking the consume unit back on now. So we're using all our CPOs inside the consume unit and we're gonna have a whole load of spare ways. So some of the cables are a touch short, but I'm kind of dressing them so that I don't have to cut any more length off of them if I can. It's like these ones here, I've not really had to cut anything off. I've just adjusted the swoops accordingly. So I'm keeping them in the order that they were in. minute it's going pretty easy well I mean it's a board change they don't really generally tend to be massively complicated sometimes they can be a right pain when you've got cables coming from every direction and stuff but as far as board changes go this is about as nice and easy as you're ever going to get cannot complain I was teaching Ruben how to do a board change and I was sort of trying to talk him through it step by step but then I had a better idea I thought actually why am I trying to give the guy hands-on experience and teach him I can literally put him on a three-week course we're just going to teach him everything he needs to know. So I'm going to stop wasting my time and just get him booked in. And then in actual fact, he probably could teach me a few things. So last time we were here, well, last time I was here anyway, we were doing an inspection and in the kitchen sockets, the earth was broken. So he's just sent me on a mission to screw off all the sockets in here. The first one I screw off, we have a little issue here, don't we? So what I'm gonna do is, well, we're gonna test it with Corey's supervision, of course, because I'm not qualified. Then I'm just gonna take off the rest just in case. So yeah, should be fun. Oh, I love the smell of lavender. That lavender soap is top quality. Okay. Then, what setting do you think we're gonna use? Gonna use... Well, the yeah, power button will yeah. definitely be a good setting to start with. Good... So we're gonna to wanna to check for continuity of the ring final circuit. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use resistance low, right? Mm -hmm. You zero the leads up. So you wanna go right on the very tip. Oh, like that. Yeah, so just hold them together with your finger, you're not gonna get Could it. Could I use this button? Uh, Cool. So then we just put one probe on there, one probe on there. There we go, we have ring final continuity. So 0.38, that is our reading for our earth. Because obviously we weren't able to take that before, were we? Because uh, it was broken. So that's great. Do you want to reconnect that cool. in properly? Then I'll check it and screw it back. So a little, it's not really a tip, but like, you know, just for aesthetics. Jordan said it in, you know what, I know this. I'm pretty sure it's his Q-Tech plug video, the tester, where he likes the, the screws to be nice and straight. I kind of like it too, can't wait. So shout out to Jordan for that. Not 
a very ergonomic workstation for someone with a damaged spine. <laughs> We've got um, the last circuit now, I'm just whacking into the consumer unit. Everything else is all on, it's already been tested, dead tested especially. You kind of always want to do that before you change the consumer unit, especially when you're putting RCDs in that weren't there before. But yeah, we already did it on the periodic inspection, so I'm hoping it should just be a nice clean swap with no issues. But I guess then you can't, you can never really tell until you power up and go around and start functional checking everything. So testing wise, there's not really much more for me to do. I need to do the test on the RCDs. While I've been changing the consumer unit, we've also found the fault in the ring. So that's one job off the list. And I've got to reconnect the gas bonding as well. Although I'm tempted just to take that through and straight out into the electricity box and use the main earthing terminal for that rather than drill into the side of the consumer unit. But anyway, like I say, I'm gonna get this last circuit into place. Very, very nearly there now. This is gonna magically find its way back into the main head and then that should magically become live and we can switch the board on and start testing. I'm just trying to get the bonding cable back to the MET. Pull it back slightly. Oh, 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 okay. Hold it there. Hold it there, hold it there. There we go. Okay, mate. So I found a doorbell transformer because his one was dodgy. The screw was threaded on it. It's BG, not technically type tested for Hager, but I'm thinking just as a temporary fix, we're coming back to do a whole load of work, as you will see. Get his doorbell up and running, and mount this onto his DIN rail, and just uh, get that going for him. even put three leads on my tester because he knows what test we're about to be doing that's what i mean it's good it's very good he's a clever lad to the commenters as well on my last video i talk about i wish they made slimmer probe tips and people going oh they do make probe tips you've just lost them no i, I i've not lost them i've got them it's just they're really fat so mega make really slim ones that are still only have the two to four mil uninsulated bit showing so I can get in there. Whereas these ones, they're really fat right up to the tip. So I can't actually get it in there together. So I'm saying is Matrell need to make thinner um, probe covers because when I put the probe covers on, they don't fit inside most terminals. Finished, finished a bit earlier. And when we come back, we fit a Nest doorbell for them as well. So we've got the Nest Protect Smoke Alarms, Nest doorbell, probably end up with Nest heating system and battery storage, solar. It's all, this house is gonna have it all going on and they are viewers. So as always, it's really nice working for viewers because generally they know what to expect. They know who we are and they're generally pretty lovely people. And also you've always got dogs. We love it. Or any other pets, we're happy for them. We've not had any hamsters or anything yet running around, but we're open to any pets. I absolutely love the pets. I'm thinking we need a pets episode just featuring the top 10 pets of the last year. I don't know, if you want that, then just you know let us know in the comments below. We haven't had any weird pets though. I, I want like a lizard. We need a boa constrictor, that's what we need. That would actually eat you. That would fully eat you. You literally, yeah. you actually could be Mowgli as well. That's the best thing. Um, <laughs> like real life size and everything. <laughs> so anyway, that concludes today's episode. So we hope you've learned something from it. He certainly hasn't. And if you've got any questions, stick them in the comments below and I'm sure Jordan will get around to answering them for you. So take care and I'll see you on the next one. Unbelievably rubbish fan is broken down again. I mean, it's literally, we picked it up from the garage this morning. It's like, yeah. So that's, I think a new battery, a new alternator belt, it's still not happening. Fortunately, we have Klein's lovely multi-bit <laughs> screwdriver. It's got tons and tons of different Allen key attachments in one. Let's make that tool of the day. What the heck, we haven't done one. This is tool of the day. Um, 13 mil right down to like four mil or something. Right, time to call the AA, I think.